Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now, I'm super excited for today's video because as you can see on my table, we have a ton of devices here. All right, so today is going to be all about the ROG Phone 6 series, but the main focus is going to be about the 6D Ultimate that I have over here. I just wanted to put everything here so you guys can have like a close look on how they look uh, differently. But before we begin, so let me just share with you the kind of devices that we are seeing on the table. On the far right, this is the ROG Phone 6 that is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 and all these guys on the left side here are all powered by the MediaTek Dimensity in a processor and that is why they have the 6Ds to their name. So moving the 6 away, we do have the 6D. Uh, this is the Batman version and this is actually a very special device. Uh, showing you guys really quick over here, we do have this Batman logo at the back here and it's completely matte out in this sort of darkish black or space grey kind of colour. So very very cool there uh, for the 6D Batman edition. Moving that aside, the two main ones here are actually the 6D as well as the 6D Ultimate. The 6D here also is in this fully matte out materials. We can see that it is a slightly lighter shade of grey compared to the Ultimate. And the difference here is that we only have the ROG logo at the back, whereas on the 6D Ultimate, you actually have a display here that can show you some really cool effects like this one right here. So uh, the unfortunate thing is that when the device is turned off or locked, uh, it won't really show up on the screens, whereas for these guys, the ones with the logos at the back, they do actually show up permanently at the back. So you can always have your phones on the desk and you will always have this very cool you know, LED lights going on. And I just think that's a little bit unfortunate for the 60 Ultimate. If this display could be turned on like throughout the entire day, even with the screen off, I know it might take up a little bit of battery life. But that will be so much cooler because, you know, these guys all have it at the back. But yeah, so to, like I mentioned earlier on, the focus today is mainly going to be on the 6D Ultimate, which is my personal unit. So we're going to push these guys aside here and check out how the box looks like. Um, honestly speaking, when I first received this packaging, I was super uh, impressed with the kind of box that we are having here. I mean, these days, not a lot of brands really focus on their, you know, unboxing experience. And I think ROG is always killing it. They always have the best unboxing experiences. So just going to show you the box real quick. We have this really odd looking shape here. Again, very edgy, just like the phone itself. And if I'm not mistaken, all you need to do is actually slide it open. So you slide it this way and you already have a pull tab over here that you lift to reveal the device. Now, obviously, I already have the device, you know, unboxed and all that. So I'm just going to show you what else we have here. Just like all the ROG phones, we do have this card over here, which is actually for you to experience that AR experience. All the ROG phones has it. Other than that, you also get a couple of cool stuff inside the box here. Let me just uh, remove this level for you guys to see. We have the charger in here, which is actually again, ROG standard charger. Again, it offers very fast charging. So we'll talk a bit more about that. We also have the Type-C cable over here. This is the braided type of Type-C cable. Again, on standard on all other ROG phones. So I love these cables. They are really uh, durable. Other than that, I think uh, we might have something else inside. Ah, I'm not really sure actually. I haven't really unboxed it properly. I think it's somewhere over here. Do we have, oh, we do have a pull tab over here. So we are supposed to have a, another cooler over here, if I'm not mistaken, but it's not there. So <laughs> uh, pardon me for this uh, sort of uh, unboxing because, but yeah, it's just a very cool packaging. Now let's move the box aside and get back to the phones because this is the main star. Um, just in case you're wondering for prices, the standard ROG Phone 6D is actually going for RM3499 and that makes it 100 ringgit cheaper than the ROG Phone 6 that is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor. Now, now the 6D Ultimate here is a complete different beast because this is RM4999. You get more RAM, more storage, it's 16 slash 512 compared to 12 slash 256 on the standard 6D. And again, you can see that the main difference here is also in terms of that back panel. You have a proper display here, whereas this one is just showing the logo, which honestly speaking, I still love a lot. Other than that, a lot of new stuff has been added to here. You might wonder like, why is it so expensive and all that? And that's because it actually has even better cooling features. So we do have an aeroactive chamber over here which actually opens up to allow more air to go in. If you affix the cooler onto the back here, you will also get even better airflow. It all works seamlessly to provide this better cooling for the ROG Phone 6D Ultimate and at the end of the day, you will experience very very good kind of uh, temperatures if you are playing games like Genshin Impact or maybe any Wild Rift for example, any kind of graphic intensive games, you will be able to experience a drop in temperatures. I know 
Micro-G has definitely done their testing, so they know all about that. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about that design here. At the sides, we do have this black frame, which again looks fantastic. Um, at the top corner, we do have a slight camera bump. Again, this is housing the multiple camera sensors that we have inside. They do take some pretty decent shots, which I will share with you guys later on. And if you look to the bottom here, this is where we still have the headphone jack. Again, awesome stuff from ROG. And we have the Type-C charger, one at the bottom and one more at the side. It should be around here. Yeah, so that's for if you are playing games, you can still charge the cable from beneath. Pretty cool stuff that overall, I think I really love the design of the ROG Phone 6, the ultimate. All right, so just putting it side by side once again with the ROG Phone 6D, those are the key differences, mainly all about those cooling uh, features, the additional RAM and the additional storage. All right, so just in terms of playing games on it, how did it actually feel like? Well, we have to talk about the display first because this is actually a very large display which is great for playing games. And the best part here is we do have that 165 hertz refresh rate and that makes everything scrolling on it, everything is just buttery smooth. This is actually one of the smoothest displays ever on any smartphone that I've experienced. If you try it at a retail store, you will notice like how smooth this is. The response rate is crazy guys. It's literally one to one and I mean like, some of you might say 120 hertz is like fast and all that, but if you try 165 hertz, you will definitely be blown away. Other than that, we do have the X-axis haptics. That means that playing games, you will have proper haptic feedback. I was playing a couple of games last night, Genshin Impact, as well as uh, you know my favorite Mobile Legends, and I noticed that the temperatures were indeed uh, quite cool. I did not feel any kind of warm or heat to the phone itself when I was playing those games. And I think if I have had added that Aero Active Cooler, it would be even better in terms of the overall experience. Again. The cooling system is not here just for show. It's really to actually, you know, give you benefits in terms of, you know, the phone's temperatures and all that. All right, so I actually did do a very quick Geekbench uh, test earlier on and I noticed that, again, this is one of the highest scores that I've ever gotten. Uh, and it's also higher than the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, by the way. So just in case you are into those kind of uh, Geekbench scores and all that. Oh, one more thing that I should show you also is the Armory Create app here, which actually allows you to do a lot of customizations. So like I mentioned earlier on, we have that external display and you can actually have multiple uh, different kinds of designs at the back. Let's say you put on an external accessory. This is the graphic that you will see. If you are you know, in X mode, you will have a special kind of a graphic showing up as well. And this is for the screen on. So whenever my screen is on, I will see a motorbike or a superbike uh, moving around. This is your charging. And of course, you can also add in custom uh, images as well. So say for example, I want to go into my screen on. So I'll just tap that and I can actually go into uh, other options here. I can show the time. I can show the logo, I can show all kinds of stuff and I even created one for myself here so I can just click apply. If I just flip it to the back, there you see, uh, I do have this kind of, you know, custom kind of like wordings. You can even put in a picture of an image as well. So you can just click create image effects and let's say I have this building right here that I want to show at the back. This is the kind of effects as well as the filters that you can actually put on the back of that ROG Phone 6D Ultimate display. So again, very, very cool stuff here. A lot of customizations. If you are into customizations, you like gaming, I think the ROG Phone 6D Ultimate is definitely something that you should check out. Once again, I'm gonna put the devices side by side here so you can see a very quick difference. Uh, this is the 6D Ultimate versus the 6D. And now we do have the Ultimate versus the Batman version. I really like this black, guys. It is super cool. And that matte, woof. Uh, just by the way, it also comes with its own Batman theme in case you are wondering how it looks like on the front. But yeah, this is the Batman edition. Um, other than that, we also have the ROG Phone 6 over here. This one is a uh, slot of the glossy back panel. Definitely prefer the matte on the Dimensity versions, but it is still a beast, guys. Definitely a huge beast. Already did the full review, so check that out in the uh, description box below. And of course, we also have a very cool Batman thing here which I want to show you real quick. This is the bat light, by the way. So it can actually show the Batman logo. <laughs> I mean, okay, I'm, I think I'm just a, a super huge nerd, but this is the very cool logo, guys. And you can even switch it to a different image. Look at that, look at that, look at that. I mean, whoa. And look at this thing, guys. It is super cool. Let me just focus it for you. We can just, like I was showing you just now, I was switching the image here at the top. It looks just like the real thing. All right, guys, so that is it, guys. A very quick look at the ROG Phone 6D Ultimate. 
if you want to find out more information you know links down below where to purchase again links down below and thank you for watching today's video all the way to the end definitely appreciate you guys i hope you had fun here with me checking out all the rog phone 6 all these babies right here if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below look forward to seeing you guys in the next one stay safe everybody bye